As a matter of fact, um, even to the menstrual cycle. Now, the menstrual cycle here is one of the great ones that was um, that was broken. It's in a book called Dragon Time. I don't know the name of the author, but it was called Dragon Time. And in there, it mm -hmm. talks about how when women have these mood swings mm -hmm. based on their menstrual cycle, that what has happened when the menstrual cycle came on, certain hormones are secreted that normally will be regulated uh, when the cycle is not on. They're just... Right. These, these hormones are just secreting everywhere. So in one minute, melanin being a nighttime hormone, you might be walking around 12 o'clock at day and this thing secretes as a nighttime hormone, with, uh, uh, which suggests sleep. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, you can understand when your mood will change you, you don't want to be bothered. That's right. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? So, they, so it's different things that's, 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 that's going on. As a matter of fact, uh -huh. sleep itself is a form of melanin. Why we know that? Because why we know that? Because why is it when Europeans need to sleep, they take melatonin pills? That's right. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So sleep itself is a form of melanin. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Um, um, one of um, you see, so uh, you you got the god Shiva. Um, mm. uh, the god Shiva is also called the Lord of Sleep. Right. You see? That's right. And so That's right. Right. So all of this, all of this stuff comes down to. Um, it's everything, and there's so many things you can link it. We can even link this to the planet. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? This is Which no is, small matter. I mean, even just trying to answer the question, what does it do? It's like everything. Everything. <laughs> and it may everything. seem broad, but it's the truth. <laughs> melanin, melanin is what we used to use to control the, mel the, the weather with our mind. Now, this is a science that anybody can do now because I do it all the time. When I, and I've been doing it since 1998. When I roll into a, a city that I have to lecture in, if it starts to raining, and most of my audience is black, and I know them, if it rains, they ain't coming out. So, mm -hmm. I, so basically, I use my own inner visions to stop the rain, and I have been 100% successful since 1998 when I started doing it. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. when we went to London, we, I, we, we, we controlled the weather, and, it, and you know, it rains over there all the time. And we controlled the weather, and we stayed a week, and it was sunshine every day. So oh, we, used to con we, used, we used to could control the weather mm. based on that. So when you see the whole Indian rain dance and all this type of stuff here, and that's yeah, nothing, that's nothing scientific, there's nothing. We used to could do that. If we're connected to the earth and connected to the atmosphere, then why is it that we can't control it? Don't tell me that you can say a sign, zodiac sign, can affect, can affect the way a person is, and that person don't also have the same type of connection to the moon and the stars. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so therefore, it. yes, and everybody does. Right. You see what I'm saying? I take, for instance, so, uh, so melanin is also connected to the global warming. Ah, oh, this is warming. the stuff okay. that they don't want you to know. That's you right see. now. We're about to really get into it because you didn't really open it up. by. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Somebody posted a question in the chat room. They said, so wait a minute, are you saying that we can control the weather? You can control the weather, and it is and it, and it is because of you that the global warming is going on. All right. That's a whole that's other a thing that's really, going on. And this is the other thing, reason why I want to bring it up because you have because uh, um you know a lot of a lot of our folks, especially right here in America, you know a lot of our black people, they just they off into other things. And they're not thinking, I, I mean, I know that I've talked to certain people, they'll think that everything that's happening with global warming and so forth is just a myth and just a way to scare everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, they're not no, the Earth is heating up. Not only is the Earth heating up, there's all kind of ancient texts that talked about the Earth will be heating up. Mm -hmm. Even the little old man Elijah Muhammad in his book, Fall of America, said mm. that in the latter days, the Earth going to heat up and get extremely hot. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So, no, that, that is all kind of text and stuff like that. But let me give you an example before we even get into that on how this thing is done. Okay. In, 19, in 2000, they deregulated the gas here in Atlanta and mostly up the East Coast. Oh, yeah. Whereas you have a regular gas and a regular set fee, when they deregulated and gave it to these different companies, they, they started charging enormous fees. Then you had black people that had their gas cut on for 60 years, people in their 80s and stuff like that, getting their gas cut off. So what had happened was going towards that. They, so, they, so what it was, they deregulated and they cut. And so they cut all the black people's gas off somewhere in the summer of 2000 on into the fall. So what had happened was on the East Coast, 
um, there was concern that the Christmas buying or the Christmas uh, aspect or the Christmas buying season, shopping mm -hmm. season was going to be affected because it was it was unusually warm. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is the uh, this is actually the um, by this time this is the fall of 2001 because they 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 deregulated in 2000 and, and then the fall of 2001 when they started cutting off people's gas in the in the in the spring of the year. So going near Christmas and going near November, it was unusually warm. Mm -hmm. So someone called some people in the government and said, hey, look, you, uh, you need to do something. And what had happened was is this. The black people up the East Coast mm -hmm. who couldn't afford gas, because obviously you know, you, it wasn't a lot of white folks, mm -hmm. those black folks who couldn't afford gas, collectively prayed, not necessarily prayed, they, in their mind, they said, oh, Lord, I hope it don't get cold because my mm -hmm. gas is off. And as a result, because they collectively did this, they said, if you get uh, several hundred people meditating on the same thing, it can m materialize and it can happen. So, right. so by them worrying uh, 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 that their gas was going to get cut up, uh, that it was going to get cold, and they just, just wished it away, it didn't get cold. Mm -hmm. The government came in and said, hey, look, you better get some low-income providers <laughs> or something and get these people's gas back on or we might not have Christmas. It's a powerhouse. Oh, you see what I'm saying? So it that happens around of all of us that it believes to be true according mm -hmm. to instructions that you give it. So if you give the subconscious mind what you want for healing or anything, it's going to work. Everything around you and you here and now has been created for you by your subconscious mind yes. and has been attracted to you like a magnet. It, mm -hmm. it is impossible to stop this creation process. Even when you leave the earth life, it will carry on creating for you, creating for you and serving you for its purpose to attract all, to you all that you need. It does not reason. It just accepts the instructions that are being, that, that are believed to be in your best interest. Before it will change its creative pattern, it has to be con connected with new instructions that are valid. This is where all conscious mind comes into picture. So your subconscious mind creates everything that you need. The only thing about it here is that you have been given wrong information based on society, your preacher, your teacher, your parents. You see what I'm saying? And as a result, your subconscious mind has to realize when you want some greater things to happen, you've got to validate it and make it valid so your subconscious mind can understand that. One best way to do is to somehow go on the Internet and get this book called The Magician, the, the, uh, Magician by Philip Cooper. You know, that's one, you know, but, but, yeah, but yes, that's exactly what that's exactly what you do. I, I tell the story about I, uh, I tell the story about uh, I was coming down with a cold. And that's where you get. That's why you gotta watch fire or the anything. cosmic fire. Mm -hmm. Our God is an all-consuming fire. That's right. You see. That's right. So there, so so that's called the Kundalini of the of the uh, uh, of the serpent fire. So they say Moses, you shall pick up serpents in the wilderness as a testimony to your faith. Mm, you didn't touch on another question. Well, man. the, the serpents that, that 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 Moses was supposed to pick up is talking about the Kundalini energy, and you got okay. these dumb rednecks is out there actually literally picking up snakes and getting bit and dying <laughs> because they don't understand the prophets. It was not talking about a literal serpent; it's talking about the serpentine fire, the Kundalini fire that raises you to a higher evolution, a higher elevation of spirituality. Well. Just as we have a kundalini fire in us, the earth has its own kundalini fire. That's right. It has the same exact kundalini fire and a serpentine energy. As a matter of fact, there's a book called uh, The Mysteries of the Mexican Pyramids by Peter Tompkins. And in that book, it talks about, um, the, uh, in that book, The Mysteries of the Mexican Pyramids, it talks about how the, uh, the, the, uh, seven, um, Mesoamericans, or several Americans in South America and Mexico, um, uh, several Mexicans in South America and Mexico, they go.
go in and they ceremony to raise the earth to the leaves. There's a new book that's by the first of the first of the by Trumbo Nelson. Yeah.